Welcome to my YouTube channel. So finally the third update of this year Kali Linux 2021.3 is out see what's new. So let's start. This is the login screen and here we get no updates or changes. Now log in here with your credentials. So this is the Kali Linux default XFCE desktop environment. This edition brings enhancements to existing features and is available on the official. Kali's new website is to be downloaded or upgraded if you have an existing Kali Linux installation. This is the default XFCE desktop environment. So this is the Kali main menu bar. And here you can see the all tools with new icons. There are also some changes in the desktop space. Improved GTK3 theme for XFCE's notifications and logout dialog. Redesigned GTK2 theme for a better fit of older programs. Improved Kali Dark and Kali Light syntax highlighting themes for no men XFCE. Now here you can see the version of installed Kali Linux. It is Kali Linux 2021.3. In this release, Kali uses kernel 5.10.0 and XFCE 4.16.3. The default file manager is Thuner. This is the little tweak by pressing the Alt plus Tab keys. If we are talking about any other appearance, there are no new updates. All settings are the same as in the last update. But upcoming changes. Kali menu refresh. This will hopefully be live for testing in 2021.4. According to this. And here these tools are pre-installed tools in the Kali Linux 2021.3. Simply go to menu bar and click on all application. Kali Tweaks was introduced in the last update. And this is our little helping hand for Kali users, with the idea to help customize Kali to your own personal taste quickly, simply, and the correct way. This should help you to stop doing repetitive tasks. Here everything is the same, as in the last update like. We get virtualization here as the last option. In the virtualization section, you can configure virtual machine, if you want to use virtual machines. Now the fourth option is shell and prompt. In this option, we can configure the shell and command prompt. Here you can see the default shell is Z shell. You can set bash as the default shell here if you want. Now the third option is network repositories. Here you can configure network repositories for app sources. And the second option is meta packages. Here you can install and remove groups of tools, which may not have been available while installing Kali, if you did not use the installer image. By default where you see the star sign these packages are installed in your Kali Linux. And the first option is introduced in this update. This setting is easy to modify via the command line tool Kali tweaks though. Enter the hardening section, and from there you can configure Opensl for strong security mode instead, which uses today's current modern standard allowing for secure communication. In this update Kali developers have refreshed every aspect of the previous site, giving a new, faster, layout, content, and system. The backend is now in a semi-automated state and more in the open, which like before, allows for anyone to help out and contribute. Once these sites have settled down from all the changes and matured a bit, then Kali developers will start to package these both up, allowing for offline reading. This is also a major update. In this update, we will get major updates. Open SSL new Kali Tools site. Kali Tools has had a complete refresh. Better VM support in the live image session. New tools like. From adversary emulation, to subdomain takeover to Wi-Fi attacks. KDE 5.21, Plasma Desktop received a version bump. Kali Net Hunter Smartwatch. First of its kind, for Tick Hunter Pro. This is the world's first Kali Net Hunter Smartwatch, the Tick Hunter Pro. So that is it. This is the new update and features in new release of Kali Linux 2021.3. Thank you for watching this video. 
and make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.